guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another mukbang. So, how are you, how are you? I have a big glass of ice for my water. I forgot to restock the fridge with cold water, so I gotta do the ice thing. I made some pita pizzas. So these are pita breads, flatbreads, with some beef pepperoni, some mozzarella cheese, and tomato sauce or pizza sauce, and some ketchup chips. I guarantee you she thinks she's having a good meal right now because she's not devouring a takeout pizza by herself. In reality, those pita pizzas and that pile of chips will not keep her full for long, whilst providing her with no nutritional value. She'll end up ordering another dinner within the hour. Yes, so, bismillah, beauty bite, let's dig in. They're probably really hot. Okay. Mm. Gaul, why must you wipe your greasy trotters on your pants if you have tissues right there? So yeah, I know some people are confused, like... Are you eating pork? I thought Muslims don't eat pork. We don't. <laughs> Except for this one. Remember how she fought with everyone when people found out the chicken sausages in Thailand were actually made with pork? And doesn't that St. Hubert gravy that she drinks at the airport of pork in it too? This is beef, halal, pepperoni. That's so good. So the only time it would be permissible to eat non-halal food or pork would be if you're starving and that's the only thing to eat. Like in a life or death situation, Yanni. Gaul, stop it. That Yane was so forced. How about instead of inventing quirks, you try and learn Arabic for once. You've lived in Kuwait for two years and most of your vocabulary consists of food. Heck, half of them you knew before you even stepped foot in the Middle East. Oh. So good. Tastes like pizza. Like a frozen pizza. Obviously it doesn't taste like Domino's or... I don't know. So, I mentioned this in a live stream. But I know my live streams are long, so maybe some people don't watch them, or all of them. But I did mention that um, we have booked our tickets, our plane tickets. <sighs> Although I'm not excited about Salah tagging along, at least we'll be leaving those four walls. Where do you guys think they're heading? I'd be surprised if it wasn't to Malaysia. All our bags are packed, we're ready to go. And, uh... Yeah, so I'm excited about that. These mini pizzas are really good. Mm. The beef pe pepperoni tastes like pepperoni. like. So we're going to keep when exactly we're traveling and where a secret. It'll be a surprise. So we went to see the camels in the desert. And so if you missed that, you can check it out. No thanks. I've already seen you be kicked and spit on by a camel. Leave the poor animals alone. There were a lot of baby camels. And a lot of pregnant ones. <laughs> so cute. I saw people make pizza toast. I wanted to make pizza chicken parm. But I have a weird problem with mixing meats. Like putting beef on chicken. I don't know. It's like a weird thing that grosses me out. Like I don't know if that's a new thing. I'm sure I've mixed meats in the past. I just can't remember. We have like another two months of this heat. I guess I'll kind of be escaping it for a while, but... Anyways, guys. I gotta wash my hands. There's pizza sauce everywhere. If you have not had makeshift pizzas, DIY pizza, you can just pretty much add pizza toppings to like any bread source. Or you can just have the toppings if you're doing keto or whatever you're doing. I've seen people have skillet pizza where they just put the cheese and the pepperoni, put some sauce. I don't even think they eat tomato sauce because there's sugar in it, I don't know. Maybe put some veggies on there, I don't know. But yeah, any bread source, sauce, toppings of your choice. That's it, and it's super quick. I put them under the broiler so that the pepperoni would get cooked, you know. That's it, I appreciate you guys having uh, dinner with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!